Blue Nose was a Canadian fishing and racing schooner from Nova Scotia built in 1921, a celebrated racing ship and fishing vessel. Blue Nose under the command of Angus Walters became a provincial icon for Nova Scotia and an important Canadian symbol in the 1930s. She was later commemorated by a replica Blue Nose II built in 1963, leaking and worn out. She was dismantled in 2010 and rebuilt in the same shipyard as its ancestors in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, and launched in 2013. The name Blue Nose originated as a nickname for Nova Scotians from as early as the late 18th century. Career. The Blue Nose was designed by William Rue and built by Smith and Ruland. Blue Nose was launched in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia on March 26, 1921, and christened by Audrey Marie Smith. She was built to be a racing ship and fishing vessel, in response to the defeat of the Nova Scotian fishing schooner Delawana by the Gloucester, Massachusetts fishing schooner Esperanto in 1920, in a race sponsored by the Halifax Herald newspaper. After a season fishing on the Grand Banks of Newfoundland under the command of Angus Walters, Blue Nose defeated Elsie returning the International Fisherman's Trophy to Nova Scotia, in 1930, off Gloucester, Massachusetts. The board, however, over the next seven years of racing, no challenger, American or Canadian, could take the title from her. She was no mere racing ship, but also a general fishing craft that was worked hard throughout her lifetime. She fished cod and other kinds of ground fish, and at least once won competitions for largest catches of the season and similar awards. Fishing schooners became obsolete during the 1930s, displaced by motor schooners and trawlers. Despite efforts to keep her in Nova Scotia led by Captain Walters, Blue Nose was sold to work as a freighter in the West Indies. Laden with bananas, she struck a coral reef off Isle of Vash, Haiti on January 28, 1946. Wrecked beyond repair, with no loss of life, she was abandoned on the reef. Various divers and filmmakers have claimed to have found the wreck of Blue Nose. Most recently in June 2005 by divers from the Caribbean Marine Institute searching for Henry Morgan's ship HMS Oxford. However the large number of wrecks on the reef at Isle of Vash and the scattered condition of the wreckage has made identification difficult. Crew Blue Nose's captain and part owner for most of her fishing and racing career was Angus Walters. As Walters only had master's papers for home waters, Blue Nose in some international races was sometimes under the command the Deep Sea Lunenburg captain George Meyer until the schooner reached the racing port. The crew of Blue Nose during her fishing career were mostly from Lunenburg but also included several Newfoundlanders. George Tanner of Lunenburg is the last surviving crew member of Blue Nose. Fame and commemoration, Blue Nose, under full sail, is portrayed on the Blue Nose postage stamp 50 cent issue. The Blue Nose has been featured on a 1982 60 cent stamp that commemorated the International Philatelic Youth Exhibition. The Blue Nose is featured on a 1988 37 cent issue that celebrated Blue Nose skipper Angus Walters. Blue Nose also appears on the current Nova Scotia license plate. The fishing schooner on the Canadian dime, added in 1937 at a height of fame for Blue Nose, was actually based on a composite image of Blue Nose and two other schooners but has for years been commonly known as Blue Nose. In 2002, the Government of Canada declared the depiction on the dime to be Blue Nose. Blue Nose and her captain, Angus J. Walters of Lunenburg, were inducted into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame in 1955, making her the first and only non-human CSHF inductee until 1960, when she was joined by Canadian hydroplane champion Miss Supertest III. That same year another honour was bestowed upon the sailing ship when a new Canadian National Railways passenger vehicle ferry for the inaugural Yarmouth Bar Harbour service was launched as the M.V. Blue Nose. Blue Nose was the nickname of No. 434 Squadron RCAF and her image of the schooner appeared on the squadron badge.
Blue Nose 2. In 1963 a replica of Blue Nose was built at Lunenburg using the original Blue Nose plans and named Blue Nose 2. The replica was built by the Oland Brewery as a marketing tool for their schooner lager beer brand and as a pleasure yacht for the Oland's family. Blue Nose 2 was sold to the government of Nova Scotia in 1971 for the sum of $1 or 10 Canadian dimes. The replica schooner is used for tourism promotion as a sailing ambassador. In honor of her predecessor's racing record, Blue Nose 2 does not officially race. The replica has undergone several refits to extend her life. This vessel was decommissioned and dismantled in 2010, and an entirely new Blue Nose was built as close to the original schooner deemed necessary and launched in Lunenburg in 2013. Various subcomponents for this Blue Nose 2 project were supplied from notable firms including the ship's keel at Snyder's Shipyard in Dayspring. The ship's backbone of laminated ribs at Covey Island Boatworks in Riverport and assembly of the vessel in Lunenburg. The vessel is currently tied up at the Lunenburg Foundry Wharf in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Much controversy has surrounded the vessel due to overspending on the refit and falsified documents. After further repairs ownership of the restored Blue Nose 2 was returned to the province of Nova Scotia and began a tour of Nova Scotia ports in the summer of 2015. Blue Nose IV. In 2007, Joan Rue, the great-granddaughter of the designer William Rue, started raising funds to build a new Blue Nose. She cited the need for a new ambassador for Nova Scotia and Canada, listing the particulars at a Blue Nose IV website. The name Blue Nose 3 is owned by the province of Nova Scotia, and Ms. Rue could not reach an agreement for its use on the new schooner so Ms. Rue and North Atlantic Enterprises are proceeding anyway. However, under the name Blue Nose IV, an agreement was reached with Snyder's shipyard to build the new replica when fundraising was completed. However, as of 2009, Rue had not succeeded in raising the required funds. This effort came to an end when the province of Nova Scotia and the Canadian federal government stepped in and constructed a new Blue Nose in 2013. In the media, Canadian Irish folk group the Irish Rovers released a tribute to the Blue Nose on their 1979 album Tall Ships and Salty Dogs. Canadian folk singer Stan Rogers honors both ships in his song, Blue Nose, found on his album's Turnaround, released in 1978, and Home in Halifax, released posthumously in 1994. The song Blue Nose by Michael Stanbury is another musical rendition of the racing history of the Blue Nose. A sailing ship called Blue Nose appears in the 1990s children's television program Theodore Tugboat. The children's television series Tugs features a character named Blue Nose, who may be named after the schooner. The ship is also prominently mentioned in the Circle Vision 360 degrees film O Canada, in the Canadian Pavilion at Epcot in Walt Disney World in Florida. In 2001 Canadian folk musician Stompin' Tom Connors released a song about Nova Scotia, its people, and the Blue Nose sailing ship called Blue Nose. On the CD, Stompin' Tom Connors sings Canadian history. Canadian Celtic punk band The Real Mackenzies released a tribute to the Blue Nose on their 2012 album West Winds. Kate Beaton, cartoonist of webcomic Hark, a vagrant, devoted one of her comic strips to the Blue Nose.